Hey everyone, so the prompt for this week's weekly UI is to do an info card. And I'm going to do that for the employee bios on our on teamgaslight.com. Um, they're not in place on the site right now, but that's something we're hoping to do soon. So this is what they might look like. Um, first step is to uh, get a placeholder in for our images, our employee headshots. Um, so that's what that circle is, and I'll go ahead and do one for me. So that's the employee name. My name is Katie Pullman. Hi. Um, and I'm going to go grab the image for me, my picture. Um, let's see here. Let's grab that and drop it in. Whoa, there's my big face. Um, okay, so let's see. On our site now, we've got these as black and white, so I'm going to see if I can invert that here in Illustrator does not look like that's an option. Okay, so let's actually go grab the black and white image from the website so I don't have to worry about opening up Photoshop. There it is, and delete the color one. Okay, so we've got my face in here. Um, the next thing to add on the card would be the employee title, which my title is UX designer. Um, and then the next step in here is to drop in our the employee bio because that's what the information we're wanting to add here for the info card. Um, so we've got in progress a bio for everybody, kind of a short little blurb. Um, and sorry that took me a while to find. Here we go. There is mine. Um, I'll go ahead and transition to our brand typefaces. We use Aglet Slab for our body copy and we use Den Pro for our head headers. Um, so I'll get that in place. And let's make the card big enough to hold all of the content, and let's get my face inside the circle. Hello. Okay, size that and line that up right. And there's the start for our info card. I'm going to start getting this on brand for how it would be on the site. Um, so right now our employee headshot just have our name and title, but they're on a dark background. So I'm going to drop in, we use 25, 25, 25 for the hex value for our dark. Um, and I'll invert the text. And then we also on our images have a yellow stroke in here. Um, so that's what it would look like. Um, but we're wanting to do this on hover. So I'm actually, let me get this body copy lined up appropriately. And we also probably want to add in some, a little bit, make this a little bit more interactive. Um, so I'll do a place, a couple placeholders in here, but icons for any social media that an employee would want to share. So for me, I'd probably do LinkedIn, GitHub, and Dribbble. Um, so I'll add placeholders for icons for that, and we'll go grab those later. Um, but what I was mentioning before, we actually want to do these on hover. So currently the headshots are on a dark background, so we actually want to make hover um, something different, something different visually. Um, so I will actually swap out the dark background here for our yellow, which is what we've been using for kind of like our highlight info color. And um, we want to stick with that pattern on the site. So we'll use that yellow, and we won't put a stroke on the text. We'll make that text dark. Um, so there's that, and that way it's legible. Dark text on a yellow background. Let's see. Let's play with the idea of adding a uh, drop shadow to the image. Super subtle. Um, actually, I'm gonna take that back off. I'm gonna do take that off because everything in our brand is very flat. Um, there's not a lot of dimension and no drop shadows, so I don't want to introduce that here. So that would be going off brand. So I'm going to find the icons for our social media here. Let's grab Dribble and GitHub. Let's get those in our file, and then we need to get LinkedIn in here as well. And there she glows. Okay, so we've got our icons in here. And we'll get those lined up. We'll get those the, our dark gray brand color and make them all the right size. Whoops, didn't mean to horizontally align those. Okay, so we'll space those out a little bit. We'll make sure that they are evenly distributed and then let's get our sizing appropriate. We'll go with 
Um, let's do 30 pixels as our base. And then I'll group those, make sure they're still distributed and vertically centered. And then we'll drop those in in place of those white circles. Um, and then I'm going to add a header to these so that people know what it is um, and kind of visually separate that from the bio. And we'll say make that say stay connected. So not all employees are going to share all of this. Some may want to share their Twitter, some may not. It um, just kind of depends on preference or if they even have the social media. So we'll let that be flexible, um, but let that be a way that they can connect with people as well. Um, so there's a base for our info card. I'm going to start kind of um, dropping these into like more of the grid that it would be on the website. Um, so let's see here. Let's get a background in here. We'll do a dark background. Um, just like it is on the site. So we'll grab that brand black, which is the 252525. We'll throw it in the back there, and then we also do um, these textures in the back of our dark areas. So I'm going to grab the sh this shape here, um, and we will get that in the back of the texture. Let me make sure it covers the artboard. Okay, so it's like kind of just large visual texture here. So I'll center that up on the artboard and let's see let's get make sure everything is centered up here oh, that moved our black one our black background okay there we go centered up I'm gonna lighten this up a little bit um, it's coming through a little stronger here in Illustrator than it does on the web so I'm going to make that a little bit more subtle um, and then next step is to actually add in some additional gas lighters. So I'm going to drop in some of their photos. We'll do Miss Katie Best and Miss Kelsey McGraw. And let's get them inside of a mask as well. Do to do, do. Make our circle and we'll make it the same size as my face and then create a clipping mask and let's do the same thing with Kelsey and then let's get them aligned top aligned with my face and then that way the idea there is when you hover over these images the background would kind of just show up and there would be no movement for the images so I want to make sure that they're all aligned and there we go and I'm going to lock that background there so I don't have to keep deselecting it um, and then let's get these distributed and centered up and let's grab copy paste the name and title here we'll make those white so they match the existing design we have on the site and we'll get their names in there and then we also need to add a couple more because we're in a grid here, it's not just three people. We've got a lot of people working at Gaslight. Um, so I'm going to add in Miss Lauren Luza and Mr. Mark Easterling, who is a developer. Um, and I'm going to go grab their faces real quick. There's Lauren and there's Mark. And let's get them to size. And we'll send him to the back. And we'll release Kelsey's clipping mask and get rid of her picture and get Mark in there. And then do the same thing with Lauren. Let's make sure Mark is lined up before I move away from him. And then we'll do the same thing with Lauren, release Katie's clipping mask and make Lauren a circle. And move those names up. and work on alignment make sure that we're all centered up here 
Um, okay, so we've got our grid here, we've got our info card. Uh, one thing I do want to add in is um, the ability to click on a link or an icon here that takes you to uh, all of the blog posts that this that an employee has written. Um, so I'm going to go try to find an, an icon for that. And that edit button kind of looks like writing, but it also is like obviously speaks to editing. That's kind of the universal icon for editing. So I'm going to grab this kind of document and quill. Is that what those feather pens are called? I think that's a quill. Um, but that kind of speaks more to like uh, authorship. So I'm going to get this the right size. And let's get that spaced out. Distribute. That feels like it's hanging out a little bit. So we'll tuck it in a little bit and then we'll group those and recenter everything here. And here we go. All right, so we've got our info card for the Gaslight website. Um, I'm going to go ahead and add in a few more people and those yellow strokes to the images, but I won't make you sit here through that because um, that's pretty tedious. But thanks for joining me, and let's do it again next week.